from vacation. I literally just walked in the door, came downstairs, I got some orders to pull before post office closes. It's uh, four o'clock now, so. I wound up opening my Pricklink store on Saturday because I could. <laughs> I didn't need anything else. So I opened that on Saturday with the knowledge that I'd pull those orders Monday. Uh, that seemed to work out fine. I couldn't open up my Brick Owl store because this computer here was shut off, so I couldn't do any syncing. So um, I just got home and turned this on, uh, reopened my Brick brick Owl store, and then I got Brick Sync up and running and did a sync on all of the orders that, that came in. So uh, Brick Owl is now open and everything's syncing again. And then let's see. Uh, not even logged in on anything here. Oops. Give me a second. Wait a second. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. And then, uh, paid. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, go. Okay, here we go. Four orders. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And then on my, uh, eBay store just turned on this morning without me actually having to do it, which was great. And I've got, I got, I got a request for a, um, an offer while I was driving and it took me an hour until the next stop. And so, yeah, I, uh, I got one, hey, the garbage pail kids are back. Um, I got one, uh, one order on eBay to, to fulfill today. I can do that tomorrow, but, um, yeah, so it's good to walk in with orders to do. So, uh, other updates. My son brought all this stuff back, so this is all used stuff sorted. So that'll get uh, weighed, so I know how much to pay him, and then we'll get put into the the categories. Uh, hopefully, you guys watched my uh, how to process used Lego video. Um, that was the last of my scheduled videos that I had while I was on vacation. I also got three orders in from Bricklink here. This is for minifigure parts, so I'll go through that later. That'll, that should complete a few stuff, a few minifigures. And then, yeah, I think that's it. So I need to get going on pulling these orders because I want to at least get two of them out today because they were ordered on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, I think. And then the other two were ordered on Sunday. I really want to get the Saturday ones out. Um, Sunday ones I can probably do later this evening, but I want to at least get the Saturday ones in the mail. So it's good to be back. All right, I got my Brick Lake quarters open. Let's just uh, take a look. Uh, let's see, this order is, I think it was just mostly these blasters to the Super Battle Droid were one of the main reasons I came. This cloak to, um, Chancellor Palpatine, that'll I think will complete him. I think there's some hairs from uh, who is that? Obi Wan Kenobi from the Clone Wars, and then the Arc Trooper helmet there. This one, this one I came to the store for King for King Ar Aragon's uh, chest plate. This should complete him, and I'm eager to get him up and listed. He's been sitting around for a while. And then I think the rest of them are just, uh, just things that I had on my list that uh, I could use that not necessarily would complete minifigures. Oh, this this will help. Uh, this goes to the uh, Sand Stormtrooper from Tatooine. So uh, these are hard to find, I think. And then this one, what did I come here for? Oh, I needed a left arm for General Grievous and he had a bunch of Grievous parts there, so that will, I think, complete him and get him listed. And then again, I just went through, you know, what are some parts I needed for other minifigures. Not necessarily will complete them, but we'll just add to the quantity that I have. So, and then uh, just some slopes that I could add to my store. So, uh, I'm gonna go through this and get this, uh, just make sure this is all here and. Um, and then complete complete those orders and get them put away. All right, those uh, Bricklink orders was allowed me to make uh, four minifigures. 
One of them has a quantity of four. So these are the super battle droids with the blaster arm. And then General Grievous with uh, four different uh, lightsabers. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Sand Trooper. Um, I was able to, the, the one minifigure that I sold today on eBay, I was able to relist him, so I was able to get that out. So this, uh, after I get this photographed and listed, I'll have had uh, five for today. So one of the things that I was thinking, I did a lot of thinking over um, vacation, and one of the goals I wanted to try to reach was listing five minifigures a day on, on eBay. And when that gets comfortable, I'll start adding more to it. But just trying to be consistent on listing on eBay every day. So this will reach my goal of five, and we just need to get some photographs. General Kenobi! Hello there. <laughs> Here I'm weighing the uh, used Lego that uh, my son um, sorted out for me and it comes in at 6 pounds, 14 ounces, so we'll just say 7 pounds, uh, another $21, I'll pay him for that, $3 a pound. I remember my last vlog right before I went on vacation, I said uh, I was going to take this binder and uh, all the two bags of stickers that I had and I was going to organize that. So I did get this done while I was there, uh, all nice and organized and separate pages. So how I've got it organized is the book is 01, and each page has a page number, 01, 02, and so on. And each page has, uh, each slot is numbered. And then there are different pages. So I'm using business card pages. Uh, this one is baseball card or trading card pages um, let's see and then I'm also using this one is a photo photo page this one works really well with uh, some of the bigger ones although this this one's a little thin this is the only page I think I use or the only thing that I use this thinner thinner one in and then I have one full page one for the really big stickers so um, so I've got four different types of pages that I can put stickers in. And then um, in my remarks, I call it uh, ST01 dot, the page number, um, so like 01, and then the uh, the slot that it's in. So uh, this one here would be ST010803. That's how I got it. Uh, it took me only took me a couple hours. It didn't take me very long to get this all organized. The hardest part was uh, updating the remarks and finding the stickers and then finding it in uh, BrickLink to update it. I like it. Hey, it's morning. It's Tuesday. It's 8.30 in the morning. Getting down here until a little later and I wanted to. Uh, anyways, I've only got about an hour before I gotta leave out of here. Uh, I gotta take my son to the dentist who's got wisdom teeth coming in. Been begging us to come home so they can take him to the dentist. And uh, so I got a couple orders I gotta fill. The, um, the 93 lot one was from yesterday. That was the only one I didn't get out yesterday before the post office. So we'll do that one this morning as well as the new one that popped in up there as well. Um, later today, after I get home from the dentist, my, uh, my wife's going up to get the dog, so I get to see the dog today. That should be fun. Fun time. All right, let me get this order done. All right, while I was at the, uh, waiting for my kid at the dentist, I was having a little bit of a brain fart, wondering, like, which, which five, uh, minifigures I was going to list today for my goal. And, uh, you know, here's one. Here's a Looney Tunes CMF that I have. Uh, I've been sitting around, so I could use that. And then I'm, like, going, looking through my BrickLink catalog, going, okay, which which ones can I pull from here and enlist? And, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, how am I going to be able to maintain that? And then, like, it hit me, because I had already thought this once before. 
I've got all these sets to part out. And guess what's in these sets? That's right. Freaking minifigures. So. <sighs> I've got like tons of backlog here of minifigures. So, I'm going to part out that set, which will get me my thousand parts for the day, as well as my minifigures to, to list on eBay. Meet both goals at one time. All right. Let's get this one going. came out of the box like this. The sticker is folded into the page. What the heck? That's not the only thing. Like, some of the bags, or some of the boxes, the sticker is in, like, in the structure and this bag. And then the other ones, they're separate. It's like, what are you guys doing? I'll show you this. Holy crap. I just noticed I got this order in. It's for uh, 50 tan 2x4 bricks, which is all of the 2x4 bricks that I have. But at the bottom of that order is the infamous um, please do not pack with invoice or packing slip. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Which means, you know, they sold this on some other platform and then are trying to fulfill it, which is, which is fine. Um, but I wanted to go see what they sold it for. And here's the listing. <laughs> So they bought it for me for $8 and are selling it for $22.95 and they're including free shipping, you know, cause that's, that's how nice they are. Wow. I can't believe people are actually buying that 50 pieces for 20 bucks. That's, that's just crazy. I mean, even at the store, you can get it for like $5. Amazing what people will buy on eBay. Here's the really crazy part. 15 sold in the last 24 hours. 15! People, learn about BrickLink. Come to ralphsbricks.com. I'm on the last set, or last bag, uh, parting out. This uh, Ninja Charger set from Ninjago. There was five bags in the, in the set. And uh, bag four and five had uh, two small bags in it each, and then bags one two and three I only had one bag small bag in it uh, needless to say I started this at about 1 30 today and my goal was to uh, get this all parted out today and get these minifigures listed where I needed to get them listed <coughs> excuse me and it is now uh, 9 35 and I am still trying to get this done. I had a couple breaks. I had, you know, a dinner break. Uh, my dog came home. That that's was about an hour, hour and a half of break time. There's a couple other little breaks that I, here and there. But needless to say, this shouldn't take me all day. Um, it shouldn't take me eight hours. Um, it's 9.30. It'll probably take me another hour to get this done. Um, and I'm starting to feel like... Well, let's just say, this method that I have where I do part out a bag, put it away, come back, part out another bag, put it away, works for me when I'm working very slowly. So, like, when I want to, like, part out a set at my pace and do it, you know, over a couple of days, this is a great, great method. It works great because I'm not tying anything up, I'm not tying up any space, I work on a bag, I, free up the, I can free up the space after that my goals have sort of changed a little bit where I've got all this backlog because of uh, clearance and I want to get a lot of it um, parted out while I am on my uh, vacation. So um, last week was the start of my vacation um, and I went on, I went away from the start of it. But now I have four weeks left of vacation. I took about 30 days off of work this summer. Um, thanks to my, my manager for suggesting that. And uh, so anyways, I want to get all of this clearance stuff uh, uploaded. And with my, you know, daily goals that I've been trying to, I'm trying to do, which is a thousand uploaded parts and five minifigures listed on, on eBay, I should be able to do this fairly easily. However, this 600 part, 599 part set, and I only had six of them. So there's like 3,600 parts here. 
this should not have taken me all day. And so as I'm going through this and doing this, uh, the more I'm doing it, the more I'm thinking, oh, gosh, there's got to be a more efficient way. And maybe this set is <laughs> is different because it seemed like every bag was the same. Like I was putting away the same parts over and over and over and over again. And that usually doesn't happen with, with, uh, with sets. Usually it's like, you know, maybe a dozen parts that are w sprinkled out throughout the, the set. And I put away maybe twice. But like there has to be at least 30 or 40 different lots that I've put away in each and every bag. And it, uh, yeah, it got, it got old very quickly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this finished up obviously and call it a day pretty soon. Um, hoping to get out of here by 10 30, but tomorrow when I come down and start pick whatever set I'm going to do next, I'm going to try to try something different. I don't know what that is yet. Uh, maybe I'll try to try the way Pop Swag Shop does it, where you take out the drawers and get everything, you know, organized at once. But something I gotta find something that where I'm going to part out a set, and I want to do it in one day and want to do it really quickly. I gotta I gotta be able to find that fa to do it faster. I want to be able to part out a set in like two or three hours, not eight hours, and not have any time at the end of the day. So. This is a real problem for me right now. Uh, typically, like I would have left this at five o'clock, six o'clock, went and did my things, but I want to get this done because I've set these goals for myself. And so uh, I'm really struggling right now to uh, get this done today and uh, be able to uh, meet my goals. So <sighs> change is coming. We'll see what we do tomorrow and see how that works. Also doesn't help right now that uh, my sinuses are like uh, revolting for me coming back to New York State. Um, this is typical of what happens when I come back to New York State. The next day, my sinuses go, holy crap, what did you just do? You came back and, you know, they get all filled up and um, you can see my eye, my eye in the last uh, 45 minutes now has just been watering like crazy and that just makes me sneeze and so it's been like this all day. Just my sinuses have been... Uh, inflamed and it's causing me to sneeze and it's causing me to do all that so that's also slowing me down but that's not an excuse uh, I still think there's some efficiencies I need to work out here all right took me a little longer in an hour to get this done but uh, two uh, two hours and 15 minutes later uh, I've uploaded 3642 parts 219 watts six hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy nine cents I think I only spent maybe uh, what were they? Thirty-two dollars times six, so uh, maybe two hundred bucks. So over three times part up. Um, Eleven forty-six. So I've got uh, out of those five minifigures, only four of them I can list because the Kai I already had, I already had listed from a different set. So. I've only got four there, so I'm going to get those pictures taken real quick and try to get those listed ASAP. Just a quick numbers check right before I uh, take those pictures. 6,601 watt and 133,859, both records. Hey, good morning, it's Wednesday, it's 9 a.m. Um, I wound up getting wrapped up last night around 12.30, uh, getting everything listed on eBay. So it took quite a bit more time than I wanted to. Um, so we need to work on efficiencies, uh, basically. So that's the name of our game today. So today, let's start with the orders. I got one on Brick, Brick Owl. Um, I've got one on Brick Link here. Yeah, that's that tan brick one that I showed earlier and then I've got one on eBay uh, hunter orc so shouldn't take long to get these done um, so let's see what we can do to get them done so it's uh, 9 11 let's see how long it takes 9 37 so pulled three orders and got them packaged up in envelopes got the uh, labels on them and sealed up and actually gave them to my wife because she's going to get her Starbucks morning Starbucks 
Yeah, don't get me started on that one. And then, um, yeah, they'll be in the post office within 20 minutes. So not bad. All right, so now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do now. So let me figure that out first and then I'll tell you. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tackle our listing goals for eBay. So um, I was actually, I had a couple over here of minifigures and I actually went through with them and I was able to build these four just with, uh, with just with those minifigures and then piecing out some parts. So vacationing Batman, Aquaman, um, a Ninjago guy, and uh, Emmett, which he's just there for quota. Um, and then I've got uh, Wiley Coyote uh, from a Looney Tunes uh, collectible minifigure that have been sitting around. So there's five. Uh, get these pictures taken, get that listed, and then that's one goal down. And then um, I forgot about this. So this is uh, the Dorito ship, as I call it. Um, I got this on Amazon Prime Day. And it, it's been a month since, uh, since I ordered it and it finally came in the Saturday I left for vacation. So it's been, uh, sitting around and late last night, I just like remembered, um, I was watching one of, uh, Pops' old, the last, uh, vlog just for something in the background. And he was mentioning Dorito ship. That's what I called it. And I was like, all oh, right, what happened to that? I ordered that too. And I had to go, I actually had to go hunt for it. It was, uh, it was downstairs in an open box. And of course these were on top. You know, I want to open this. I want to know if like this is just the parts in the box or if it's this inside this box. Let me see. Yeah, just as I expected, they were just the uh, full sets, uh, the complete box inside those little boxes. So I'm going to keep those. Those actually look like it would work really well if I ever actually had to ship a, like a set or something, um, if I ever sold one. But those are good, good shipping boxes, so they'll go into the uh, pile of, let's not talk about it over there. Um, I might do this today as a part out after I get the five listed, and then I'll have three uh, ready for tomorrow. And so, I come with a Knight of Wren, and uh, what's the other one? First order, Thai Pilot and Finn. So that Knight of Ren, he looks juicy. Okay, got those five uh, listed and I'm up to 52 active listings. So growing slowly here, but I'm liking that number. Here's a little look into uh, my thinking while I was on vacation. So this is a um, page I was writing out my thoughts of uh, what I needed to do every day to run a store. Um, especially if I was thinking about this as a full-time seller. Um, not that I'm going full-time anytime soon, but I've got four weeks, so I'm going to treat it like a full-time job um, while, I'm, while I'm off of work. But here are the things that, like, here are some of the tasks that I need to do for eBay. I need to do some sourcing, some listing, um, pull orders, and build new stock. Uh, Bricklink, I need to um, pull orders. I need to do part outs. I need to sort used, store maintenance. So that means like, uh, like this, this drawer is overflowing. So that needs to be parted out. That's a store maintenance item type of thing. Um, and sourcing, which I don't think I need to do it every day, but I need to be thinking about that uh, a little bit. I'm definitely not going to be doing it uh, for a little while since I got all this clearance stuff in, in, in house. Um, then I was just starting to think of what was the order that I wanted to do this stuff in. So I wanted to pull orders. I want to do relisting of anything from, from eBay. I wanted to do uh, sourcing part out and doing sorting and then building out new things. Um, so, and then thinking about like, what's an eight hour day look like, you know, maybe the first order, first hour is pulling orders and then, <laughs> half an hour for relisting any minifigures that I may have, have multiples of that I can just relist easily, um, do sourcing. So that makes sense to do it right after relisting. Cause I know, Hey, I need new things and there, uh, pull that, you know, pull that in. Um, and then, uh, three hours for parting out and sorting, um, another hour for building minifigures, um, if possible, half an hour to list, which is, uh, I'm finding, uh, hilarious cause, uh, I'm very, very bad at listing right now and it takes me quite a bit of time. 
um, store, you know, do a half an hour of story ants and then another hour or ex extra time of, you know, sorting or parting out, uh, at the last hour. So four hours of parting out and sorting, and then, you know, it was sprinkled in there as some semi bay stuff kind of thing. But it sort of doesn't work that way. So today I'm like sort of writing out, just keeping track of my time so I can like sort of make a better judgment of how to, how to structure my day. So it took me 30 minutes to do pull, pulling orders today. And that was only three orders. So 10 minutes in order uh, on small orders too. So this needs to get more efficient, I think. Um, building and listing. So um, I didn't know which ones I was going to list. So I had to find them and build them, get the accessories for them, um, and then photograph them and then list them. So that took me about an hour and a half to do that for five minifigures. Um, so there's that, uh, hopefully I can get ahead of that today by parting this out and getting some minifigures ready to list for tomorrow. Um, and then 10 minutes for sourcing. So I did place, uh, maybe 15 cause I had to do a, let's say 15 here, 15 minutes to do sourcing. So I placed a couple of bricklay quarters for parts, um, and I spent my budget. So I have a $50 budget. $50 budgets uh, every day to go spend on, on BrickLink. And I want to spend that every day so that BrickLink orders are coming in consistently. Um, that's that's sort of my goal is to have BrickLink orders coming in um, to build to build the minifigures that I, I've identified that I want to build. So um, yeah, so the next thing is um, to start sorting or parting out. So we can start tackling this. Um, and so I wanted, like I said yesterday, I wanted to try to think about uh, how to do this set differently than how I was parting it out. So I'm gonna think about that a little bit and then I'll come back to you with what I'm gonna try today. I don't know if I shared this before, but this is another thing I did on vacation, which was just thinking about what did I wanna do uh, daily? So um, I posted this up uh, next to my computer here, um, and it's just uh, what I need, what I want to do daily. Uh, I want to do a thousand parts uh, a day. I want to do some sourcing, so twenty dollars a day on part out, part outs, uh, or part inventory. So this can accumulate. So right now I have, I'm up to like sixty dollars that I have. Um, Fifty dollars a day in minifigure parts. I want to make sure this gets spent every day, and then um, I want to list five uh, minifigures a day on eBay. So that's not clear, but that's what that means. And then I'd like to get this is a goal that's outside of my my sort of control, but it's something that I want to see in my store, which is seven dollars a day or seven orders a day, um, and hopefully get at least $13 average order value or higher. So that's, these are my goals that are posted. And so hopefully that'll be motivating to me. All right, this is what I think I'm gonna do. So I brought this, I've cleared this table off. This was the one that was over there. Cleared this table off. So it's now just gonna be dedicated today for uh, parting out. So I've got three sets of these, 470 pieces. So a little over 1200 pieces. I should be able to get this done quickly. My goal is to get this done in two to three hours. Um, I've got the, the cart that's empty here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my file on, on the computer. It's gonna tell me all the drawers. I'm gonna take the cart. I'm gonna sort by remarks. I'm gonna go through and grab all of the drawers that have the parts in there. I'm gonna put them on there. And then I'm gonna um, sort bag by bag and sort directly into the containers and creating new ones as as uh, as we go along. I'm going to see how that goes. So let's uh, let's create the file. Let's open up the box and see how many bags are in there. All right, there's five bags, and I've got one bag into each container. So the next thing I'm going to do to try to be efficient is I'm just going to open all of these up right now and put them into the containers, and then the small bags I'm going to um, I'll do those separate, but. I'm gonna also se separate those out into the uh, shoe boxes there. So I have those there. So I'll do the big pieces first, and then I'll come back, open up the, all the small pieces into separate containers and do, do those second. By the way, Batman's here menacingly looking at me. So it's 1140. 
I have uh, created the file and uh, opened up the boxes. All right, 11.47, took me seven minutes to open all of the bags into the bin. So here are the five big, big uh, bags. Um, I don't care what numbers they are, but I am keeping them separate for, just make it easier to sort. And then here are four small bags. I only had four small bags in the entire set, which is actually amazing and awesome. So, okay. So next thing I need to do, uh, as I was thinking about it, I don't want to be like going to this computer and down the path to this computer down the path. So I'm going to get my laptop and send the BSX file over to the laptop so that I can put the laptop on my stand here and uh, pull all of the drawers out with the laptop. All right, I got it uh, on my laptop. I, for I forgot my laptop has a brick store and I haven't used this since April. So it was like, it took me a little bit to figure out how to get the file open. Uh, especially on a Chromebook, um, that was the problem. I highlighted all of the the um, parts that have drawer numbers, and there are 83 drawers we're gonna have to pull out out of uh, 100, 118 lots. So most of this I already have. All right, 1210. Took me about 20, 23 minutes to get all of the drawers pulled. So this is 83 drawers. I tried to arrange them by color. Some of the things that I think are going to throw me off is some of these drawers that are got mixed colors in them. Uh, I did put them, I looked it up when I put it on the table here, like which color was this part. So this is light bluish gray. So we've got blacks along the top. We've got uh, dark bluish gray here. Green, blue, orange. All this is light bluish gray. Red, trans red, yellow. And then everything that's boxes that are in boxes, there's five of them, are over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take a bin. I put the bins under the table. Take a bin, start parting it out, and see how that goes. Um, we'll see how long it takes to do one one bin. I'm gonna grab. Um, what I've got one drawer over there. I'm gonna grab some empty drawers here, so I just have them at the ready. Um, how many would all I need? I know there's a few drawers here that I can separate. So like I can put a divider in there, I can put a divider in there uh, and maximize some, some drawers. So I will do that as well. Um, but I also will pull out some drawers so they're ready. So where are we at? 12, 12, let's see. All right, 12, 26, got the first bin done. Took me what, 14 minutes, um, a little slow. I think the thing that's slowing me down is having to look up um, whether or not a, I, I should just like look over here see if it's there and if I can't find it then look it up um, to see if I need a drawer or not but um, so far so good I'm sort of liking the pace here so let's see let's, let's continue on 1239 so that's what 13 minutes so that was uh, that was a pretty easy one uh, no many figure parts in there so it went pretty quick had to switch up a couple drawers add a couple drawers uh, put a couple uh, separators in so uh not too bad i'm gonna take a break now do lunch and then come back down so we're at what an hour an hour and we're i think we're making pretty good progress all right i'm back i'm back let's uh continue on it is uh 2 45 i took a little longer of a break than i probably would have wanted but there was nothing to eat and so we had to go out and get something my wife went out and got something and while she did that i did accomplished two things I got five minifigures ready for tomorrow or the bank whatever so there's three here that I can do plus I could do pull two from that and then I'll have three in the bank for another day um, and I also recorded uh, I, I figured out what the new PayPal rate increase would mean for me and my store and then a quick I did a quick uh, six minute video explaining what I found and how to, how you can get prepared for that so all right 246 let's get the next next bucket i've done uh two bucket two big buckets here already and so that leaves three left and then four there so seven seven buckets left left to do 344 just an hour into coming back from lunch here and just want to give you a quick update i'm making some great progress i am down to uh two bins one big one one small one so one big problem I'm having is this table's not big enough. I've pretty much filled this whole table. Got some room here to 
you know, go sideways and stuff, which I've been starting to do up here, but this set is any bigger, I don't have room for this. So, um, need a bigger table. So I think I can get this done within three hours, which should be fantastic. So if I can get this done by 4.30, that would be amazing. So, uh, let me get those done. 3.59, I'm all done, all done parting out. Um, would it take me two hours and 20 minutes to get everything into the drawers? So it's all in the drawers now. So uh, I got all the minifigures over here. So I'm going to deal with that right now. See what um, uh, accessories I need to steal from, from what I put in the drawers. Then verify that uh, I've got all the remarks filled in and then put this away. So hopefully this all takes less than a half an hour. That would be my goal. All the uh, minifigures are separated out, and I got the accessories uh, accessories room from the BSX file, as well as the uh, minifigures. So we're uploading 130 or 1,374 parts, 111 lots, 322 dollars and 20 cents. I think I got it all for 150, and um, so that's over two times part out just in parts, and then. Uh, let's see, 60, 30, I should probably get another 120 for as many figures if I'm being very uh, generous. So, uh, pretty good. So, I'm going to upload these parts now and then put these away. Before I put the big boxes away. Glorious. 420. Glorious. What is that, 2 hours and 40 minutes? All done. All put away. A couple drawers here. This one's gonna need some maintenance. I'm gonna have to part that one out. This one I'm leaving here because it has a uh, empty uh, half. So, and then uh, minifigures I'll put together, but uh, I'm not considering since they're all going to eBay. That that can be done tomorrow. So, all done. All done. Just gonna put everything back and um, get ready for tomorrow. And I am going to call it a day today. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget you can find us at ralphsbricks.com.